mud guards, eh? I mean, they can be really fiddly to fit, whether nuts and bolts or clips, they can rub your frame. Um, they're rattling strong winds. I'm sure they slow you down, certainly in headwinds and crosswinds. And uh, ride over wet leaves or mud, and they, unless you've got enormous clearances, they pick that stuff up and then rub for miles. And, well, let's just be honest, they don't look cool, do they? Makes you wonder why we bother. Now today, it's drizzling rather than heavy rain. But still what happens, I think the temperature was about seven Celsius when I set off. Once it's rained for any appreciable period of time, the roads stay wet and dirty at this time of year, all day. So even if you sort of sit inside, wait for the rain to stop and put your trust in the weather forecast, you can't always avoid wet and dirty roads. Now, you might be a person who's quite happy to go out, get wet and dirty on a bike ride. No harm in that, it happens when you go mountain biking, it happens when you go cross country running. But if you're going out in company, your ride mates might not be quite as keen if they're wearing guards on you plastering them in grit and oil and water. I think going back maybe 20 years it was a, a kit requirement on Audax rides that you had to have mud guards fitted at any time of year. That rule's been torn up. But uh, I also remember maybe 20 years ago going to a, a cafe on a winter cycle ride and drawing some very uh, disapproving looks when we'd been riding on best bikes in March and we all had dark stripes of our backs and wet trousers and we were sitting on the bench where uh, upholstery where ordinary decent people were going to be sitting not exactly cricket now, I've been riding for about an hour and 20 I think and it's it's been raining most of the time. I can't say that I'm bone dry because obviously it's raining. I'm getting run off from this waterproof jacket. I'm also getting sprayed by passing cars. But the most important thing, I'm not getting jet washed by my own bike. Today, on what you might call a showery, drizzly kind of day, hopefully we've still seen that mudguards are serving a very important role. And that on a, a much wetter day, on lanes holding a lot more water, uh, they become even more vital, despite their uh, not looking all that cool. So for this damp weather edition, clipping in, I'll say goodbye for now and see you next time.